Now after choosing our rail, we are going to edit it. Bottom offset is zero zero. It's okay. I mentioned I'll go straight to the rail setting. If you put your cursor here, you see that's the height of the rail. 0.75, I'll say okay. I'll take this to 0.1. So I'll reduce the height of that and I'll add the height of this to 8. Go next. You can choose a circular post or a square post if you wish. I'll leave all this like this but you can edit yours if you wish. I'll go a little front. I'll change this materials the post itself. I'll have to change the post. I'll put it to glass. Blue glass. Sorry, the post should be black, I'm sorry. I'll take I'll look something metallic. And then here I'll take a blue glass. That's my wish. And I'll say okay. Then I'll place it here. shift and I highlight this control D drag and I'll put it here I'll hold it here drag this here I'll hold it to this knot once you hold it and you're dragging it automatically you're going to see something with this angle of 225 degrees Control Shift M. That is the shortcut for mirror. Or right here, and I'll reduce it. Or if you wish, you could just do this all through. Control Shift M. Hold this here and take it out. Let's take a look at what we have. <laughs> Not so bad. Control Shift D. Now take it to the kitchen side too. Control Shift M. I hold it here and I'll bring it here. Then I extend. next thing we're going to do we're going to design a house so we're going to put another object you can want to make your house have trees and etc etc things like that so here I'll just type plants I'll choose this one I use this one regularly so I'll choose it I'll say I'll go up here and I'll change the level to negative 115 I'm good to go okay so I'll put it wherever I deem it necessary okay Okay. That's enough for now. So you know how to manipulate the object. Whatever you want, you just click here and automatically search in your library. You 
choice where we chat something let's say this I like this go to 3D that's a tree control D and I'll take a bit distance from the house okay next thing we're going to do is sorry let me put this build in this way next thing we're going to do is to roof this house so we go to roof we take our roof click here choose this method that's our roof let's look at it on 3d while on 3d our roof is very high it's high but what we're going to do here is we are going to reduce I know high roofs are beautiful they are really beautiful I'm going to reduce this page I'll put it to 38 degrees that should be okay that should be okay yeah 3.2 I'll say if I put it to 3.3 .3, so that we can see enough of on 3.4 you might wish to change your properties but from here you use the scroll you scroll with the button once your cursor is here, you scroll with the button on your mouse, that round button, and you will get here. Uh, that's the offset. I put mine to six point. That's sixty centimeters. And then, or if you want to do it the other way, you can just take settings, and you'll see all that here. So here, I'll click, click, click to put on my materials. You can change your materials if you wish. I'll leave mine like this. And that's my roof properties. Oh, look at something. My objects are at zero, not negative 115. So I'll go back to 2D and I'll highlight one of these objects at negative 115 okay that's good but they should be at negative 30 negative 30 sorry negative 0.3 remember the slabs height keep going down and not up so that's okay I'll take an injection this no I'll just highlight it all that will faster I'll say negative point point three go back to our roof if you like to make a gable roof back on 2d I like your roof look for this point this point the center point you click on it once you click on it come here custom plane setting okay it take cable and you're good that's your gable wall that's your gable roof sorry 